Have you ever wondered what's possible in this crazy world? Huh? Here's 10 of the most unbelievable, unimaginable, and mysterious real-life stories that has ever happened. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This bubblegum mistake cost him his life. Oh. Vladimir Lekonos, a 25-year-old student at the Kiev Polytechnic Institute, loved studying science. His friends and family said he was very quiet and calm. Well, he enjoyed doing experiments, like making firecrackers at home. And scaring everyone sometimes, maybe. One night, December 6, 2009, as he was doing some research ruckus in his room, something terrible happened. There was a loud explosion. Kaboom! And when his mom ran in, she found him wounded badly. It turned out that Vladimir's bubblegum had been mixed with something dangerous like an explosive. This boomtastic substance had looked just like citric acid, which he sometimes used to prolong the flavor of his gum. The police think he might have dipped his gum into the whiz-bang stuff without knowing. About 3.5 ounces. In 2017, there was a 99-year-old woman in Netherlands named Annie. Annie had one crazy wish. She had a bucket list, you know, like things she wanted to do before she turned 100. One of her wishes was to get arrested. Yep, you heard it right. So the police in her town decided to help her out. They put handcuffs on her and whisked her away to the police station. Annie sat in a real jail cell. And is this a prank from the past? In Edinburgh, Scotland, a plumber was working on an old house when he found a hidden bottle under the floorboards. Inside, he discovered a 135-year-old note. The note was from two guys, James and John, who laid the floor in 1887. They wrote, We didn't drink the whiskey and joke that their dust might be blowing down the road. No one knows if it really happened or... So this woman, let's call her Walker, she had one big dream. She wanted her daughter, Shania, to be a cheerleader. But sadly, Shania didn't make the team, not once, but twice. So Walker planned she was going to unalive another cheerleader's mom. She thought this would make the cheerleader drop off the team, and Shania would get on the team. So Walker asked her ex-brother-in-law, Tom, to help her find someone to do the job. But Tom turned on her and told the police. Walker got arrested. She said, no contest in court. And she was given 10 years behind bars. Plus, she had to pay a fine of $10,000 and settle a $150,000 lawsuit for the victim's family. But just six months later, Walker was out on probation and had to do community service. There are lots of questions to ask, like... In 2019, someone walking by a house in Perth heard a toddler scream at a man yelling, Why won't you die? Over and over again. They were worried, so they called the police. When the police rushed in, they found out that the man was just trying to kill a spy... There was this guy, Roger Lee, who was home with his wife when two men jumped into their home with masks and pew pews, dragged him into a van and drove off. Bang! His wife was very worried and called the police. So, they began searching for him. The next day, he came home unharmed. Police could tell that his story wasn't adding up. He finally confessed to staging his kidnapping for an all-nighter party. He was billed $5,000 for false reporting to the police. In 2010, there was a man, let's call him Kai. Kai was supposed to be the oldest man in Tokyo, so the officials in Tokyo decided to go and wish him a happy 111th birthday. They found a skeleton in bed. Yep, a real-life skeleton. Turns out Kai had been dead for 30 years. His family kept it a secret to keep getting his pension money. In 2008, the police were trying to figure out who stole a car. They were looking all over the place, but could not find the person. So they took a dead mosquito inside the stolen car. Yep, a tiny squished mosquito. That mosquito had just bitten someone. So they took the blood from the mosquito's last meal and tested it. In 1858, John Neal, a local candy maker who used plaster of Paris to make sweets, made a big goop. One time, while they were making sweets, John asked his staff to bring the stuff from their store. But guess what? John's staff made a mistake and brought something else. It was arsenic, a deadly oh poison. John ends up using it to make the sweets without knowing. He did notice that they were darker and slower to dry, and he still sold them to a market seller called William for a lower price anyways. On October 30th, a lot of people bought these poisoned sweets, so the next day, lots of people got sick, even William Hardacre. But by the time the people in charge found out it was the sweets, over 27... Beatrice had a Buddha statue that she prayed to every day. But one day, her friend visited and gasped. What? The Buddha wasn't a Buddha. It was Shrek. So she had been praying to Shrek for four years. Oh. An ogre from a cartoon. Remember to always... <laughs>